How nice is this? Look at that. What a nice goodbye. Wind's sort of going south. Not really, it's more west southwest. but you know, I'm optimistic. West southwest is better than west, because we're going west. How you going, you good? I think so. You happy with that? too much, huh? It's bloody brilliant. Um, we had a motor sail for the first hour. Now, we've got a few squalls and some lightning out more the southwest so i don't think we're actually going to get it but it's just brilliant we're doing five knots through the water i reckon but over ground we're doing about three and a half to four it's going to be a lovely sail very little swell very little movement got every scrap of sail up uh it's just wonderful anyway basically we have to drop lisa off and pick up my crew lisa will be coming on in a sec she's just uh lying on deck out front it's all good people it's just like this blog is always always good always positive except for the bad bits they come up fairly frequently but apart from those it's always good is that your bed possum yes how's your head still a little not the normal form what you do well, what did you do? What did I have to do? <laughs> Put the camera at yourself and tell them. Why are you actually think it was my fault? <laughs> of course it was your fault. Not intentionally, but it was your fault. <laughs> what are you swimming underneath the dinghy for? I wasn't swimming underneath the dinghy. I was swimming there and you were putting the dinghy in my direction. Up and then rapidly down. It's an interesting theory, people. All right, just coming in now. Wind died a few hours back. The end of the journey for Lisa. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's staying on a few more days because she's trying to go across the canal. Yeah, he's going to collect the line for you. I love days like this filling up. It's just so easy, no windage. It's all these expensive boats. Literally, if I drive in here and I touch a single boat, just a single scratch, I just hand over the keys. There you go, buddy. <laughs> and I have to leave all the stuff inside too, because the inside stuff is more expensive. The computers, GoPros. It ought to pay for the scratch, maybe half. Good morning, Eric. This is the guy that wrote the, we call it the Bear House book, that does all of Panama. Uh, I used, yeah, I used his mooring last time and <laughs> he came before I got up the mast. But anyway, lovely guy. I was going to give me his book, but I had the copy, so. Oh, shit, I'm going to hit something. And that's a pelican. That's Eric's friend, because Eric's just over there. G'day, mate. Your hair looks terrible. Yeah. This is a vlog. This is a real vlog. This is about the truth, nothing but the truth, and a little bit of bullshit people. But you know which parts of the bullshit one. Are we anchored? Want... Yeah. Trip over? Last time. Last anchor. Possibly. And you only got hit, injured the second last day with me jumping off the boat. 
Yeah, as an yeah. accident, people. She thinks it's intentional. She wanted like some compensation, like kind words and affection. But I said but no. Never get that. This is my vlog. None of that rubbish. Oh, Jesus. What you doing? Uh, making chips. Do you have uh, one of my inventions on your head? Well, it's like my new headlamp. Yeah. As you can see, people, we've got no lights on this side of the boat. Because of the lightning, it knocked it out. But my head torch is kaput. But here's a solution. And yeah. it works out really you well. You this? Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. And it's a good thing, people, because we've got two Lucy lights. So I've got one as well. Except Lisa holds her Lucy light with way more style. She's got more poise. Well, you can't see me at all. Hold up. you like a pirate. Am I? I'm minus, on. minus one, yeah. One eye. Yeah. Right? Uh, mine's on the side now. The good thing about it is, you know, when, you know, if you're one of these sly personalities that look out the side of your head a lot, maybe I'm onto something. Maybe there's a new headlamp, the sly headlamp. What you can do is you go on the side and you can look, you know, it's sideways like a at people. Nice hat. You, well, I suppose. Yes, it's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. But it, it works though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Like I can't actually light. Yeah. It works. Yeah. It works yeah. perfectly. I like the sly look. I'm going to invent it. You can look sideways at people and still see them. Because a headlamp doesn't do that. It's just at the front. It, yeah, and I'm under a winner here, people. Does anyone uh, anyone want to uh, go fund me on this? It only requires me to buy two Lucy lights with a bit of elastic and stick it on the side. I won't need much funding. Probably ten dollars ought to do it. <laughs> anyway, don't give yourself carry on. away so cheap. <laughs> anyway, carry on. It's good, looking good. Chips, bloody great. Yeah. And what have we got down there? Salad. I gotta look side on. It's all good. All right. Well, another invention you've seen on this blog, people. Maybe I should have blown them up a little bit. Yours looking a bit sad. <laughs> all right good night people all right we're in linton bay it's the last day that i'm on the boat peter's not around and i'll probably just flip this video in at the end of a, an episode so that he will only notice by the time when he actually will do the finish up i really enjoyed my time on the boat it was it was so great to be here we had lots of fun we did so many cool things most of all, I'm just still amazed by the fact that he's actually still alive. He's like a cat, only with many more than nine lives. He should be dead so many times before. He told me stories that you don't even want to know. And the ones that you've seen on the vlog are not the worst ones, believe me. <laughs> Anyways, I enjoyed the time. I hope you enjoyed watching the episodes and bye bye. Bye bye, Lisa. Oh, the times we had. You came as a stranger, but left as a friend. But despite that, I have a feeling that I will never, ever see you again. Oh, hang on a minute. Except for this bit. It's hard to do the editing, people. And, you know, from that part of the world, you know, I mean, I know she's not in the Viking country, but it's close. It's closer than Australia is. You know how they have the drum beat to get them to work faster? I'm going to employ this to see if she works faster. What do you think, Lisa? Idea. Double speed. There's also ramming speed. There you go, people. That's how. That's how you. That's how the magic is made. The magic. Good on you, Lisa. She's looking. She's looking daggers at me. Now she's. Now she's smiling and being sweet. Because that's how I am, you know. You sweet. are sweet. Sweet. Yes, sweet. She is. She came as a stranger and left. Well, stranger. Hardly surprising on my boat, really. But this time, the feeling is stronger. And apart from that previous blooper, I fear we will never, ever see Lisa again. Well, except for this other bit. I can't type like that. I'm the editing. Can't you see I'm editing? What's happening? I'm going to be leaving. Oh, oh yep. Yep.
What's happening? Yep. I'm leaving. You don't know how to make good phantom of beer. So there it's a bit he goes. Well it's the truth. Yeah, go on. You take it, you blend it, you leave it there for two hours with nothing inside. I mean water but no sugar, no yeast. Yeah. In the fridge? Well whatever. Yeah. Depends on the time of the day. Maybe blend it around five or something and then you can finish it around seven to eight and mm -hmm. then it's in the fridge still a little cool. Maybe do whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you filter it, mm -hmm. and then you put sugar, maybe mm -hmm. two full spoons. Mm -hmm. and Three spoons or the... Normal soup spoons. The soup spoons, all right. And one shake of yeast, yeah. and then you mix it, and then you fill it. Okay. And then you put it in the fridge overnight. Yeah. That's when we turn uh, the fridge off. Yes, <laughs> but in the top department where it's the coldest. Yeah. Magnifique. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for that. Top You're stuff. welcome. Yes, always helpful, sometimes harsh, but strangely you left as a friend, albeit soon to be estranged. I will miss you, Lisa, because I fear again that I'll never, ever, ever, ever see you again. Well, except for this further bit. So are you emotionally secure? It feels weird. It feels weird leaving the boat after such a long time. Do I have to tilt my head forward no, or back? Because I got a, you know, I got that sloping forehead now thing. Now I'm pretty much my face until here. Okay. It's hard to judge with my Geico sloping forehead. Yeah. You know, Chrome magnum, that sort of thing. You feel, it feels weird. Cause it feels we're, weird. We're, we're, we're like... A married couple without are, sex. Yes, a married couple without sex. That's it. Yeah. One, what a wonderful thing. No <laughs> bitching, no whining, no crap. But no sex. Yeah. Yeah. Good food. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take you. Right, let's go. Yeah, well, you've heard it all already. <laughs> <laughs> A damn camera wasn't functioning properly, people. Lisa was saying basically I should take it easy with the new crew and look at my hair. Jesus, people. Only a mother could love that. Um, and not do so much filming. This is a vlog, people. We're a professional organisation. Professional? Well, semi-professional? She's very harsh. She, she's not harsh. She's very harsh, people. I think I need a new crew. She's getting too familiar. Bosses me around. Just like a wife without sex. Well, basically a wife. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, people. Oh, what? <laughs> Stop the camera. I have stopped the camera. I am not filming. Stop it. <laughs> Next adventure for Lisa. Yay. I think, uh, what are you doing? You're doing... We are going to canal. And then you're off to Bolivia. Colombia first. Then oh. Bolivia. Paragliding. Yes. And then the monkey. And maybe another monkey. Well, lots of monkeys, not just one. A little smaller than this one. Yeah. A little less wild. And less hairy. <laughs> I'm sure you are very sad, Peter, because we are taking your crew. So yeah, I'm. Bad. I'm very, very sad. Okay, go. <laughs> That's the emotions here. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be harsh sometimes, people. Sorry? You've gotta be harsh sometimes. Harsh. Oh. Hard. Harsh, hard. Harsh, hard. Um, difficile. Uh, hard. I don't know, how do you say hard? Hard. Dear. Dear. Yes. All right, where's my cuddle? Yeah, turn that off. No, I can't. It's a vlog. We film everything. <laughs> oh, bye bye. You were amazing. You were I'm going to miss you. You might be coming back in Cuba, though. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Right. So, you stay here for one week more? No, I've got crew turning up tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, okay. So, I'll be off tomorrow night. Okay. No mucking around. But au revoir, have a wonderful time. For you too. And I might see you in the Pacific somewhere. Perhaps. Au revoir, <laughs> not adieu, au revoir. Cause we will meet again, good people. Somewhere out there with the sun setting and the coral islands. 
I'll come up with a big fish and we'll have deep fried fish. All right? That's my dream. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, gotta go. Gotta do editing. Ah. Keep in contact, Lisa, because we'll. Uh... Don't die. Don't do any stupid shit. Don't top land. Oh, you're smart because you like walk, walking up mountains. Good stuff, top stuff. All right, bye. Oh, bugger, this is becoming tedious. Oh, the good times we had, the islands we ate, the fish we explored, and the pineapples we never met. Those times are sadly over. But this is finally final, people, never more. Just like in Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, never more indeed. I will never, ever see Lisa again. See you next time. Oh, come on, Lisa. No one likes a long goodbye. Hurry up and go already. Bloody hell. Don't do anything stupid paragliding, Lisa. I would never. All the stories I told you, do the opposite. <laughs> and there she goes into the sunset. Blah, blah, blah. But bad news awaited me when going ashore. I had to leave the country. All further extensions to my visa were cancelled and I was about to be fined. It was still the height of hurricane season. I was alone, afraid, and I had no place to go. What a load of fake dramatic baloney, people. Yes, I was alone, and yes, it was still hurricane season. Maybe a hurricane can finish me off. That'd be good video. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. I would just sail away and seek a new adventure.